Everything in front of me here, I've already reviewed. Honestly, I'll have all the reviews listed down below if you just want to see that. But if you couldn't be bothered, I'll cover off some of my thoughts as we go through this gear. Anyways, what are we doing here then? Well, I saw this Road Creator Bundle, White Edition, and I just needed to get my hands on it. So why don't we all just sit back and enjoy some unboxing gear I can't say on the channel? Really? I don't think I can say By the way, affiliate links are down below if you want to see more. A great way to support the channel if you're interested. And well, let's start off with the small stuff. First up is the Rode PSA One Plus White Edition. And always, when someone asks me which boom arm to buy, I always recommend this one. Yes, it is more expensive than the no-name stuff you get off Amazon, but these things are consistent performers. Don't get super loud and loose over time, which is a big deal. But the biggest deal of them all, if it ever breaks, Rode is a fantastic company that stands behind their products. I've gotten them replaced before. Not something that happens with those no-name brands, by the way. Also, with the new white boom arm, one benefit is that all the people that were sore about the logo on the arm, well, it's much harder to see now. It is rather fetching, I must say, and everything is white, including the base. That is a nice touch. But let's be honest, it's just a white boom arm. Let's see what else we have. Next up is the headphones. Again, another big recommendation for me, and that is for one big reason. At this price point, these are easily the most comfortable headphones I've ever put on. Now, these aren't going to be the greatest for critical listening, though they do perform admirably in the price point. Another feature I like, though, is their silhouette. They aren't big and bulky on your head, so they're probably the headphones with the best aesthetic that I've ever used. Again, they are backed by a lifetime guarantee as well, which is a nice touch. As for the white, it's clean and they really do stand out. Not much else to say. And next up, we have the white pod mic. Now, I do have to say, I really love the pod mic USB and I will recommend that all day and all night. The versatility on it is fantastic. And when using the USB with it, you get all the Rode effects with Aphex. As for the pod mic, if you're using it with one of the Rodecaster interfaces or the Streamer X, it's a brilliant mic. Any other interface, eh, it's those Aphex effects that let this mic shine. And honestly, if you need a decently affordable mic with the new Rodecaster, this is a great purchase. From an aesthetic perspective, I mean, yeah, it has a bit of pop to it, doesn't it? Very nice look. And when you pair it with that white PSA One Plus and along with the headphones, this is looking like a nicely themed setup. I really like the white and black. As you can see, all three iterations of the pod mic here. Also, I would like to mention that it does fit the custom windscreen from the pod mic USB. And although I believe they're planning on selling that separately, I still haven't found it on their store. Now, I bet there would be a ton of orders if they did just that. I'm just saying, Rode. By the way, after we're done unpacking all this, we're going to go over the bundles that Rode has to offer for this stuff. But first... Let's move on to the biggest of them all, and the one I'm most looking forward to seeing, the Rodecaster Duo. Now, I'm a big fan of the Duo. I use my Rodecaster Pro on my main Mac setup, though I only use it because I need the extra inputs from time to time. My Duo, though, is my main testing rig, and it's in use on a daily basis, much like the Rodecaster Pro 2. It's just a beast. Honestly, one of the best pieces of gear that is available on the market for the podcaster or streamer. Again, may I remind you, this thing is literally just a pared down Rodecaster Pro 2 with all the features and functionality with just a couple less inputs. Recently though, that in mind, Rode is now letting you use their USB mics on the interface through USB 2. A really cool add-on that lets you use up to three mics on this unit or five mics on the Rodecaster Pro 2. One of the most reliable and feature-packed interfaces that you can find. And even better, it's also constantly being updated. Let's see what the two look like side by side though. So then again, I should point out that this is the creator bundle that I got. And it goes for 788 US dollars right now. I believe it's on sale. Now that's a very good price considering everything you get Along with this single XLR cable, I just have to point that out, it does actually come with the bundle. But if you're gonna add all these things up, if you were to buy them individually, it's basically like you're getting the headphones for free. That is a savings of around 180 bucks, not too shabby. 
But there is also a podcaster bundle that goes for $1,127, which includes two of everything except for the Duo. Again, a very good price. And individually, that would add up to more as well. And again, it's about getting the headphones for free. Pretty sweet deal if you ask me, especially if you want this white aesthetic. Again, though, you can get these separately if you want to just dip into the white collection, but you can only get them directly from Rode from what I can tell so far. I do have those affiliate links down below if you want to check them out. And as affiliate links, any purchase does go towards supporting the channel. Again, I will also have the full reviews for all these things down below for you to check out. Cheers, and thanks for watching.